Hey guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and uh, I have a new Photoshop tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to make like a cool background for, you know, maybe a name tag or a button or something like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and create a new composition. Um, size doesn't really matter, you can make it whatever size you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my paint bucket tool and uh, make the background a dark gray and then uh, let's go down to the rectangle tool again this is a dark gray color and uh, just drag it out and uh, come over to the shape layer the rectangle layer and uh, bring up its uh, effects options uh, you bring them up by double clicking on it um, let's go ahead and add a drop shadow we'll bring that up to 100 um, make the distance 0, spread is going to be 100, um, size will be 6. Alright, so um, distance 0, spread 100, size 6. Um, then we're going to go down to inner shadow, um, take the opacity, opacity, honestly not 100% sure how to say it because I've heard different people say it different ways, so say it however you want. <laughs> um, distance, zero, choke, we'll bring it up a bit. Size, um, let's make the size about 20. And then we'll make the choke about 10 for now, we may change it later. Um, sadden, uh, go ahead and change the distance to about 7 or 6, size, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that on about 12, and then um, go to gradient overlay, I personally have a preset for this already, but um, I'll open it up and you can see it goes black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. So set it up like that and then we'll change the style to angle um, and then we'll bring the opacity opacity again however you want to say it down to about 11. We may go back and change this later. Stroke this needs to be changed to a gradient. Um, go ahead and open this up change this okay add black at both ends and then drag the white out a little past the center and then I'm going to go ahead and put on reverse and uh, change the angle to 90 and then bring the scale down to about 60 or 70 and I'm going to bring the size down to 2 and let's see how that looks all right um, that looks pretty good so now we're gonna create a new layer and then we're gonna control click on this part right here of the uh, rectangle layer okay as you can see that makes a mask around it now we're gonna go over here change the color to white fill it in with our pink bucket tool and now we're gonna go up here to filter pixelate mesotint okay and then filter again, blur, motion, oh, I hit radial blur on accident, blur, um, motion blur. And I like this somewhere between 50 and 100, anywhere between there looks pretty good. I'm going to go with 70 for this one. And then um, change the blending mode to lighten and reduce the opacity. opacity. Um, I'm going to set it to about 10. Um, you can go ahead and hit Control D and take that uh, mask off now. Now, um, that looks pretty good, but I think we're going to go back to our rectangle layer. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a little darker. Okay, yeah, I prefer the way that looks with it being a little darker. Um, and that's basically it, guys. Now you can add some cool text in there or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. hope it helps you guys out. And uh, I'm out of here. Peace.